Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. I'm so glad you could join me today. Um, today we're going to be playing again with some tea bags. I was uh, playing around this morning and made this little guy and I thought it was pretty cute. Can you guys see him okay? Yeah. So I've done some hand stitching. Um, as you can see, I left some of the tea in the bag. I think it looks really cool. I love that effect. It looks just really grungy. This could be a fun little tag they can write on the back if they want, just carefully of course, but you know, um, it's just a really pretty addition to a journal. So, and just rustic looking and grungy and all that good stuff. So let's get started. So today what I have with me is I have some great value, the big tea bags and I've left, I have a pile of them over here to my right actually because I did the whole box yesterday um, I actually dipped the box into tea tea water okay and then I went ahead and I dried them and left them to you know just kind of get really nice and grungy I don't think this one's got some tea on the outside but I think it's from one of my bags broke so yeah. So now I like to leave the top part intact, at least for this project. Um, so what I was doing instead of, because at first I took the string off and then I realized I want to take the string off for this, but I don't want to detach this part of the bag. I want it to stay together. So what I'm doing is I'm putting glue here at the top. Okay. Just a little bit. Of course, the glue still shut again. I'm just a tiny touch on that knot there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is was open. I washed it out and everything this morning. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Anyway, so I'm just taking a tiny bit here on this knot, okay, and just kind of tacking that down. And then, and then I'm cutting my string off. Now, if you want to utilize the string, you can, of course. But I am going to do my project the way I did this morning for you guys. So, now, once you want to empty the bag, because before I was opening it and emptying it from there, but I think this is probably a better way. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take the tea, kind of shake the bag and get it to where it's falling into the bag itself, okay? And I'm sure all of those who out there who use tea bags regularly, you know all the tricks. I have seen a lot of stuff about it, but I'm super new to using them, to be honest. I think I told you that the other, yesterday, um, or the other day. So anyway, we are I'm just going in and kind of wiping down the inside. And what I was doing, let's, I'm going to dump it into the, into the receptacle over here, my garbage can. Listen to me being all formal, receptacle. And then just to wipe some of them out, I'm going in with a brush, one of these little makeup brushes, and handy for anything. And you can see they're coming loose. I want to leave some of them, though, because... I like them. I think they look cool. So I'm not going to try to get all of them out. Just the majority because my bag was laying on the front side and so most of the darkness from the tea is on this side. The distressed look. And I'm just going to flick that a little bit. So I still have some of them in there but you can see how many came out just from wiping Got some of them on my computer. Ooh, don't tell Cordy. Anyway, <laughs> they came off. So now we have a bag. I'm going to even this little out, this bottom part out a little bit. Because as you can see, it's a little longer on one side. But I really like these large iced tea bags because they're big. You know, they're not the biggest ones, but they're bigger. And I can kind of play with them a little bit. And so... What I did with this one was I used one of our scripture scraps and positive words, you know, that I had in my shop. And I glued one of those inside with a glue stick. 
So you can use pictures, fussy cuts, flowers. You could stamp something and put it in there. You don't have to put anything in there if you don't want. You can do anything. You could put a, like I said, you could do a sticker. Let's see. I have these adorable little um, stickers here. I could put one of these inside. Now, because it's so dark and these are so light, you can't see it as well. But let's see about like a one of my images. Let's do one of those for fun. Let's just see. Because I'm sure that would show up much better. So if I wanted to, I could use like one of these images. Okay. And we're going to be um, Mod Podging on top of that. So it'll show much better. But as you can see, it's, you can see it, you can see through it. Okay. I do want to get rid of a few more of these grains. They're actually pretty dried in there. So, okay. Let's see. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Actually, you know what else I wanted to try? I have these crosses I got at Walmart. Um, and I was wondering if one of these would look cool in there. Let me see. Because they'll fit. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do this one in here. And then when I Mod Podge, it's going to show through. See? Okay. So that's going to be this one for me this time. So all I did was I got my my embroidery thread out. And on this one, I think this color actually would probably look pretty good. That's the color I used on the other one. But I want to... I want to play, so I'm going to do a different color. Um, let me see, guys. I'm looking here real quick. I've got a bunch. I have this. It's, this is from when I used to do needlepoint all the time, and I've got two bags that are just messy like this. And I used to have them all on rings, and they were organized, see, with these things and everything. Not so much anymore. So I'm wondering if I, wa I want to do, like, a blue... Because I have a ribbon just for fun. This would be a little bit different shade for what is on the cross, but that's okay. Okay, this is all tangled up, so I'm going to snip. I have some ribbon that's similar to this color, so I'm thinking maybe I will use this color for fun. Okay. I'm wondering if I put this in the... F Let me see. I'm trying something real quick. This is that sticker, so of course it's stuck to it. Not too much, though, because of course it's not that strong. Just be careful if you put something in and, and you want to move it around or whatever. You know, just be careful. And I want to give myself room to sew because I want to do a border again. I like that, the little hand-sewn border. I think it's really cute, but I was thinking if I wanted to put this in the front because I am like I said I'm going to nah I, I don't think it's I think it's too full that's okay we'll just keep it where it was so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of this so that it'll stay and I'm just gonna rub it because I don't want those lines which it will have if I don't do that and then put this in here and center it as best I can where I want it. And then I'm sticking it down on that back part, okay? All right. I think it's straight. Is it straight? It's pretty straight. I think it looks a little bit off. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, as you can see, I still have, I still have tea grounds coming out. Tea leaves coming out. Okay. So now I'm going to get my thread and my needle and let's do a little bit of sewing. It's simple sewing. I'm not doing anything fancy. It's been a minute since I've done anything fancy, so I would have to uh, refresh myself. <laughs> so I'm just doing some straight stitch, a little, maybe a little cross stitch. Um, that's about it. Okay. 
And yes, I got the tip of my thread wet because otherwise it just won't work for me. Doesn't seem to want to work for me anyway. There we go. Get in there. Come on now. Oh. It's just being difficult. There we go. Got it. Okay. So all I was doing was coming in from like the corner here. And I want the the knot to be on the front. I think that looks cute. So I'm going to sew from the top, okay, into this. Oh, I didn't tie the knot. Duh. <laughs> All right. Good job, T. And I shared with you that I do that little twist knot with my, like my grandma taught me as a kid. Just kind of fluff that up a little bit. I think it looks cute on the front. I don't normally do that, but I like it on this one. Okay. And I'm just going to go along the bottom and do a little stitch here. And all I did on the other one was... Um, I thought it was fun. I just did it straight across, and then when I got toward the end, I did a little cross stitch. You could do that. You could do other stitches if you know them. Um, like I said, it's been a minute since I've done embroidery, so I uh, need a refresher course on some stitching. I'm out of practice. I mean, I remember them. I'm just out of practice. You know what I'm saying? This is something that was a mood thing for me. It's when I'm in the mood, I hand sew. When I'm in the mood, I do cross stitch or embroidery. I, I don't do it on a regular basis. So. Okay, and you just go around. Now, I think right here, I'm going to go ahead and do what I did before. And I think I'm going to do a few little cross stitches in this corner. So I'm just going to lean this on my desk so it's easier for me to handle. Okay, so I'm just making a few little X's. If you don't do cross stitch and you don't know what I mean by that, can you guys see okay? I'm going to stand up and do this. So I'm just coming up as close to it as I can. Make myself a couple little X's along here. The tea bags are actually pretty nice to sew into. It's not bad. I mean, they're a little bit, you know, it's a little bit clumsy, but uh, overall, and this one I went the opposite direction. I should have went in. It's all right though. It'll still be an X, no big deal. a little bit bigger than I wanted, but that's all right. Okay. One more. I'm going to do three. Very awkward in this corner to get the needle to go in the right spot. Let me you got to be careful because if you tear, you know, you'll tear that tea bag and then it'll just, oopsie, and it'll just be going straight through. That one's going to be, oops, a little higher than the others, but that's all right. I'm not going to worry about that. Come on, baby. There we go. I know some of you are like, you're going to poke yourself. Okay, so I've got my little X's there. I know they're uneven, but... You know, that just kind of adds to the rustic look. <laughs> and then I'm just going to start doing the straight stitch again. As best I can. One thing I noticed with these bags was you got to watch it when you get up toward these corners to make sure that your, your, your uh, paper is 
folded into the corner so that when you sew it, you'll go through both layers. Otherwise, you might end up going through only the one layer and it won't sew it down. Okay? So if you're doing it with me or if you do this later on, remember that if you've never sewn these before. Okay? All right. Hopefully, um, I'm not boring you to death with my... <laughs> Oh, I'm going to give you an update. Cordy woke up this morning and he said that he was feeling fine. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your prayers. He also said to tell you, ladies, thank you very much for your prayers. He appreciates you so much. Um, yeah, he said, God is good. I, I said, how are you feeling, honey? He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I, 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 I feel a little bit stiff, but that's it. He said, I'm fine. You know, and the Lord, the Lord did that because that guy hit him hard. Um, so yeah, he went to work and he's up in Scottsdale doing his thing. But there's your praise report. You know, God is good. He is so good to us. So now I'm coming up on this corner. I'm just going to go with that and slant it over. I think these are so cute. Um, and once they're done... They're going to be fun to be little additions to our, you know, our ephemera. Now, one thing I wanted to grab real quick is this. Let me see. I'm looking here real fast for it. It's in my... I have a blue. There's the green. I'm just right here, guys. Sorry. I leave it over here? I might have. It's one of my favorite colors I have. Oh, come on, Tara. Hmm. Well, that is a bummer. I don't see it in my stuff. What did I do? Don't you just hate when you move things and you've rearranged and then you're like, I can't find anything. That's me. That's me today. Actually, it's been me now for a couple of weeks. Well, guys, we might have to use something else because I can't find the ribbon that I was matching this thread to. So bummed. Oh, well. I'll survive. <laughs> I got plenty of other stuff I can use, right? Okay, get in there. So yeah, he's good, and uh, what else was going to, oh, Joey called me this morning, so we talked, he, uh, he gets three calls a day, and he always saves back enough to, you know, make these two calls, and they're only 15 minutes long, which as you know, is never long enough to talk to our kids, but I, I take what I can get, praise the Lord, I'm grateful that I get that. But yeah, I was so bummed. I He called me and I was doing something in the kitchen and my hands were wet. And when I answered the phone, um, it got water on my screen, which caused my phone to react. And so as we start to talk, my phone decides to hang up because it's like flicking all over the place. I'm like, Joey, Joey. And I lost him. So he only had, uh, he had two calls left to call me back. Thank God. Because I, if if I had hung up on him and he only had like one call, I, I mean he's allowed three calls a day and he had two he had money for two calls so thank goodness we got our second call in but Mama hung up on him I feel so bad when that happens I was like Joey Joey call me back call me back I, was, <laughs> I get so upset can't help it <clears throat> but he has he's telling me he's bored because he um, you know. He's finished writing his book and his other, you know, he's working on the other ones, the, the second one. However, he was saying that the problem is, is that he is, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to take that back down right next to there. He was saying the problem is, is that he doesn't know what, was I all the way over here? I'm so sorry. I just sewed around there. So now you can see. He's not sure what's going to happen with Stephanie, the girl, the main girl in the book, is the young lady that he was with when he was homeless. 
and he does not he has not heard from her he has no idea and because this book is based so close to his own life uh, you know he made up some stories but it's based around his own life so he doesn't know what's going to happen with stephanie yet on the outs when he gets out if they're going to be together or i'm going to put a little bit of glue here on this knot um you know or if it's over he, he doesn't know and so he's like i can't really base any of my writing yet i can't really write my book yet because of that so yeah he's bored he doesn't and i told him spend more time with jesus so i have a prayer request again for you guys seriously pray for joey that the, the holy spirit will give him a hunger for the things of god i have prayer warriors prayer mommies and grandmas out there you guys are you're amazing and i know that you will pray for my boy that he would have a desire and a hunger for the word and just for the presence of God and to grow in the things of the Lord because he struggles with that. You know, he's, he's, he's come back to his faith, but you know what I'm saying? He, we all have those times where we struggle with that. Well, he's new to his faith, to be honest. I mean, even though he was born again at six years old, he's not actually, you know, walked in it per se. And so, yeah, it's, it's new to him. Um, relationship is new to him. You know what I mean? Let me see here. So what I was thinking, I wonder, I don't know. I'm just going to see if I can get this on here at all. Hmm. I don't want to cover the cross. That's the thing. It could, it could come off the side. I mean, it really wouldn't matter, right? Let's, let's, let's doctor it a little bit and see what happens. Okay. Now, what I did on this one, I did some stuff to this one, actually. Um, I had a little fun with my Woody Stabilos. Um, I did some, you know, see, I'm thinking, okay. There's going to be a, a tag thing up the top. There's, I may even use like a, one of these here. I can find a good one. Let me see if I have a smaller one. I, my tabs and stuff. You know how I love the tabs. I was thinking instead of ribbon, we could use tabs. That would be cute. Looks a little big for this. But you know what I'm saying. But I was also thinking I have this brown ribbon that I'm hoping I can find. <laughs> um, that might go nicely too. So anyway. Okay. So... I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. Let me put a little gold on it. I wish that I had um, this in a stamp. That would be cool. Because then I could stamp it on here. But let me see. What other stamps do I have? Because I did stamp on that last one, and it was so fun. And so I'm thinking... Let's see, where's my black? I want my black here. Oh. This is like little flowers. And I was just thinking it would be kind of cute to have that going down the side. Maybe up this side a little bit. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to do any more on that. What I used earlier was this little butterfly. I kind of put it in the corner. Um, but this time, and the way I did the flower on this one was I used my, I used my stencil and I just did like a corner flower here on the corner right there like that. Okay. So that's how I managed to make that little flower. Now I I think with this one, let's see, I have my, where is it? Oh, there. I was going to say, I have my little letter stencils, and I'm wondering, there's the R, I don't know. 
-mm. See, that's why I didn't want to take these out of the little box because now they're all over the place. I'm gonna grab the R because that's a common one. I may need it. <laughs> Every one that I need is not the one I'm pulling out. Isn't that the way it is? Mm hmm. Hmm. I have a song in my head. Um, Good God Almighty, I hope you'll find me. Praising your name no matter the cost. I love that song. <laughs> I don't know why it's going through my head. I heard it, I guess I heard it yesterday when I was going to get, when I was going to help Cordy. Um, and it's just stuck, I guess. So yeah, it just keeps going through my head. Let's see, we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna do Jesus. I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna try it. Let's see how it works. And I'm using the Ranger, that looks good so far. I'm using the Ranger um, archival ink in jet black. And I will link it for you guys. I had somebody ask me yesterday, and I was like, oh, I don't even, I, sometimes I just don't even think about, you know, these little, the, the inks and stuff that I use all the time. I tend to, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is going to fit. Maybe I didn't go high enough. Oh no, guys. I think I didn't. Look, it just says, hey, Sue. <laughs> oh, please work. Well, it's there. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. What I was going to do. Where's my... Let's see. Oh, where are you guys? Come on. There we go. I was going to say Jesus. And then here, I was going to M. I hope I can leave myself room. My Lord. That's what I'm going to put. Okay. And L, L. Yeah, the reason I was saying about the ink is because that way, it, one, it once we use the Mod Podge, it won't come up. It'll stay on there for you because it's permanent. Where is my L? Seriously? I know you're here. Here you are. L O R D Jesus, my Lord. Okay, and I'm going to put these back in my bag so I don't have them all over my desk and in my way. You know me. I'll be stumbling over them for the rest of the video if I do that, if I don't put them up. Okay. Yeah, so what I did with the other one a little bit was I took some of my... First, I did some ink around the edges, okay? And then I came back in with... Um, Come on now, I just re-inked you. I really think I need a new pad, like a plain pad that I can re-ink myself. Or just get a new pad, because I don't know why, but it's just, ugh. It's not accepting the ink right. So it kind of even darkens it more. The tea bag, of course, is already brown, but I like that extra, that extra look of distress around the edges. I think it looks cool. I think it looks very rustic, and I like that. That's my word for the day, rustic, rustic. Now what I did do 
was I had a piece of my paper, my book page, and I went around. This little, um, this little brown one is fun now that I've played with it some. And I took some water. If I can find my water, here we go. Okay, and I just give myself a little puddle, and I just tapped the tip of my pencil into it so it gets wet, and then just lightly go around these edges, okay? You don't have to press hard at all to give it that distinct rustic dark brown. And that's what I wanted with the woody pencil. Um, I got the ink tents and everything, but they're small and very precise. And the woody, and they're a little bit hard to hit just at that right angle where the woody is so big and fat that you can kind of, you know, you get a bigger area and this tiny edge, um, it allows you to cover that edge quickly if you wet the pencil. See, I played with them after we got off the video yesterday. I was so excited to have them. And now I know that the, the gold does work. It's not as dark as my paint stick, but it does work. So, And this one definitely does work. So see, now you've got that, that sharper image around that edge. And we can do it on the back side too, if you'd like. Just so you can kind of see. Am I blurry? I'm trying to keep myself far enough away that it doesn't blur. I really love these woody pencils. Gosh, I wish they weren't so expensive. <laughs> them, and you know what else I really, really, really want? Oh, I want to get it. Eventually, I'll buy them set by set. But it's every time I look them up, they're they're sold out. Is the um, the Tim Holtz watercolor pencils? Oh, I want those so bad. The distress pencils look like so much fun. So yeah, there's that. Okay, and now what I did, and I didn't do it the at first the first time around. I did it afterwards. But now I'm going to do it before. And I put my my topper on first on the last one. This time I'm going to go ahead and paint. And I'm using the satin. You don't have to, of course. You can use the matte. This is the Mod Podge. Get a little bit closer. Okay. And I'm just going over this. I'm not worried if it's totally all covered around those edges. I just want to make sure that... Um, the main part of it is because it of course is going to help it adhere to that cross and let it show through like this one you know it looked really cool without the Mod Podge as well though so I mean either way you want it it's up to you it's totally up to you you don't have to use any Mod Podge at all okay so we're just going to paint that on okay there we go Okay, and let that dry for a few minutes. Jesus, my Lord. And then you'll be able to see the cross through there much better once it's dry, of course. Okay, and let me grab, I'm going to pause for a second so I can get my ribbon. I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out that I would like to put some of the, um, it's the perfect color. It matches the thread. Uh, when this thread dries completely, you'll see that it matches it. Um, but I'm going to put some of the uh, crinkle seam binding. So I am going to punch a hole right there. Quick into the tea bag at the top right here. All right, I'm going to center that as best I can. And then I'm going to use a brad because I just thought that would look cute. Okay. And I have my little squeezy thing here, which here, I'm going to put first. Let me, let me set this in here. It's kind of awkward. And it's fiddly so it, and little, so you know me and my clumsiness. I get myself positioned. And then I'll do it. So I'm going to set this on top here. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
Let's see. How much of this do I want sticking out? I know I'm not going to need to use this whole piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this through and do like a little slip knot through it and kind of use the, the looseness here to adjust how much of it I want sticking out. I do see I've got some glue on this tip. There we go. So yeah, that's about right. So there we go. I'm pulling kind of hard, but kind of gentle. I don't want to rip that bag at all. Of course, that Mod Podge is toughening it up quite a bit. I'm going to snip that, and there we have another one. Jesus, oh, I'm holding it way too close. Jesus, my Lord. Okay. And you're starting to be able, it's drying now. It's still not quite dry fully, but it's getting that. I like that sheen of the satin. I don't like necessarily, actually, I can't say I don't like it. I've never used the shiny uh, Mod Podge. I do think I tied that backwards. Should I turn that around or are we okay? Yeah, I think I'll go in the other way. I should have gone in through the front. So I'm going to undo this gently, 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 as to not tear my tea bag. Like I said, it's still drying. Okay, I'm just going to go in from the front. I like the way it looks better. I got to remember that for future. I don't do my, I don't use the, um, the Brad, not Brad's, what are they called? I know what they're called. I just, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, I don't use them very often. And so when I do, I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. There we go. I just noticed I have more glue right here. I don't know what I was doing, but this particular piece, I must have used it in something. Okay. So yeah, there, that looks better to me to have it tied in the front. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a dab. I always stick this nozzle in here in between where it's knotted. If you can see what I'm doing here. Can you see? I always put it right there. And I do just, a, you know, of course it's dry again. Let's see. There we go. I do just a touch of glue on the inside of that and kind of give it a little squeeze just so it dries and it stays because I don't want it. To, you know come away anyway I don't do Mod Podge on the back I kind of like the natural look I and it feels cool between the two like on this one I can touch it better um this feels you know softer and pliable and then when you feel this side it's more leathery and it just feels really cool it's very strong little tag and so there we have that one now let's do another one what time is it? Oh, that took me forever. So sorry. Uh, let's see. This time I think I'll do a portrait on the inside for fun. Or maybe, just let's just check if our little kids here fit. If they do, they could be really cute inside there. Let me see. Actually, they do. I think they do fit. And you don't have to sew this. In fact, on this one, I think I'm going to glue. You know what, though? You can't see their faces. Unless I try this bag. The front of this bag isn't quite as dark. Let's see if you can see them better. Because maybe we'll do it. Let's see. Mm, they're still too tiny. So now I know I don't. If you do like that, go for it. I don't prefer that one. So, I'm looking here real quick to see if this one's got some color to it. Uh, okay, I just had it, and it went away. Wait, she's adorable. Let's see her. If I could see her after I'm done. Nope, the background's a little too dark still. I may have to stick with a lighter, you know, lighter coloring so you can spot like this one. Maybe this one would show up better. Let me see. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. See? You can see her really good. So, What I was going to say is, I think for this one, instead of sewing it, I'm going to glue it and then I'm going to use um, 
And I think I'll tear her down just a little bit, of course. For one thing, it'll make it'll make more room in there for her, and then for the other reason is I love this this look. If you don't like the torn down look, by all means, don't do it. But if you do, it's fun. I'm not going to darken her. I'm just doing the edges because of the fact that the picture didn't show up that great. Um, and it's already got the distressed look out on the outside. I'm thinking with the distressed on the here, it'll look kind of cool from the end. Yeah, I thought so from the inside because you'll be able to see that distress around the edges, but you'll still be able to see her face. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back first okay and get her in there and I'm just going to spread that out so it hits all the spots and then I'm going to carefully carefully put her in there without getting it stuck if you want to use tacky glue it'd probably be better because it's a little bit easier stays wet for a few more minutes you know I use the art glitter glue so I have to be really careful okay so I have her in there where I want her and now we could do, um, sorry, I'm making sure all the loose ones are coming out before I seal this. All right. I'm going to go ahead and seal this shut. Now this back part has a lot of the tea and I think it looks really fun. So I am leaving that. I really like that look. And I'm just running a very thin bead along the bottom of this. And because I'm not going to be sewing these, I'm going to put another little bead for between. Okay, and just sealing that down together. And then this one, I'm going to put a third. Okay, that one, middle one's coming up. Hopefully I can get it to stick. Okay, yeah, it'll stay. So I'm just sealing that down on the bottom. And what I'm going to do this time instead is I'm going to take my micro pin, the little micro micron, I have the zero five. I think I have the other one too. I'm just, and I'm just going to make some fake faux stitching around the edges like this for fun, a little fun. You know what? And I also have, I have these this these stitches here I have actually a couple of them but I have like a bunch of stamps and I was just thinking I love this stamp here so let me grab this really quick and use this on the other side because I think that would be fun as well it kind of makes it look like you've got knotted stitching you know so I'm gonna do that too on this side Okay. Oh, that's cute. Look, <laughs> I like that. And then I think I'll use the other end and do the corner here, do the bottom instead. All right, there we go. Kind of frame her. Yeah, that's cute. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go like this on the corner. All right, now this part will be covered because I'll have some, uh, what you call it, ribbon or, you know, seam binding or whatever, but there you go for that. And then again, I'm going to go ahead and do my little, I like this distress. Um, the reason I do this one and then I do the woody stick is because this one kind of gives it that faded look around the edges where it's kind of, uh, uh, it, it makes it cohesive. It, it, it brings it together with kind of a dreamy look and, you know, cloudy look without it being so distinct. And then using the, the pencil on the edges, darkens the edges nice against that. So it just kind of all flows together seamlessly. And I like that. So that's why I'm doing it that way. If anybody was wondering. My dog is making the funniest noises. The other day, Cordy's like, is that her? And I was like, yep. 
she snores now. She, it's so funny. The other day, I think, well, maybe I told you, but she was literally snoring. I tried to tape her and it wasn't coming out, but she was like, <sighs> <laughs> she's this little chihuahua. I mean, she's not super tiny. She's kind of a chunky little thing, but, but she's, you know, she's a small little thing. And she was over there just snoring like a big, huge dog. And I was cracking up. It was so cute. You guys. Don't you just love our little fur babies? They're the funnest. They're they're just such a fun part of our family, right? So again, I'm going to go around this edge. And I might even, on this one, try to bring in some of the gold. Not the pencil, but the um, temper paint. Because we love that. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I'll do some black around this edge, too, instead of the just the brown. Let me try it. I'm going to finish this off. Just because we love the framing effect of it, you know? It is fun. So let's see. Oh, she's looking really cool. I like that. Let's go ahead. We're going for it. We're going to go for it. I hope I don't mess it up. Pray for me. Don't mess it up, Tara. Let's, let's try it on the back first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a ticket. We like the the black framing. I realized the other day my the Woody, uh, one of these black ones was sitting and I guess water was, I was, I was watercoloring on the desk and I think I must have leaned it in there and it got like super soft. It was so weird and I'd never done that. So I was like, oh wow. You know, it was, it felt weird. So that was funny. But it didn't mess it up, thank goodness. It just made it feel weird and just kind of gooey. <laughs> just a little gooey. So let's see. Today is Wednesday. You know what I should have done? I should have called these uh, like a um, tea bag series, huh? Because we're not done with tea bags. I should actually title them series, but I didn't because I've never done like a series, so I wasn't. Oh, I like that. Look at that. You guys see how cool that looks? I hope you like it. I think that looks really, really cool. It's looking very old, very rustic. I learned, I realized something the other day. Well, Technically, I've probably realized this many times in my life, but you know how you have those epiphanies and then you totally forget you had them? Well, this is probably one of mine, but um, I realized that the reason I have a tendency to like be heavy handed or mess things up is because I don't slow down. I try, I try to rush like a lot, you know, and so I'm trying to be precise. My husband... Courtney is very good at being precise and I tease him a lot because he'll be slow about stuff but he never drops things hardly ever he never <laughs> messes things up and I think it's because he's you know he takes his time and he's precise about things and so yeah so I'm trying to do that guys wish me the best on that one okay I'm going to go ahead and use this butterfly again because I just kind of think she looks nice with, she would look nice with a little butterfly. And just going to put it, where am I going to put it? I think I will put it in this corner again because, okay, just waiting for a second, letting the ink soak in. There we go. And I could even mm -hmm, color that in. We could use, I'm thinking, do I want to use watercolor pencil, a marker, or do I want to use some, just some color pencils, maybe. Give that a little bit of color. Hmm. I don't want to use anything watercolor because I'm going to Mod Podge this, so. Hmm. I wonder if my regular pencils... I have, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have like watercolor pencils, I mean uh, colored pencils here. I do not have um, a lot 
of good ones. I have cheap ones because I gave all of my good ones to my daughter and that's okay. Oh, it is working. Can you see? And I'm wondering, I'm hoping that when I do the Mod Podge, it doesn't pull it up. Um, I'm just making a quick work of this. Okay, trying to. And what lovely colors am I going to use? Use some purples and some pinks. How's that? Okay. And maybe a little. Mm, I've got all these different colors here. That's kind of close to the other one. This is a brighter. Let's do this one here. You can't really tell that's purple, huh? So. And then I have like this mauve lighter pink. Well, it's way too light, but you know what? It's still bringing a little color and that's really all I want. I don't care if it's super colored in. Just a little touch. Okay, and then now I'm going to use my Mod Podge again and pray that it doesn't move. <laughs> I think it won't. They're not water reactive as far as I know. They're just regular uh, pencils. So that's the reason I got the ink tints because, okay, I gave away all of my good, uh, trying to get rid of the wrinkles around her face. I don't mind them everywhere else, but right on her face. I'd like to try and smooth it out. Um, yeah, I gave all the good pencils that I had to my daughter for her birthday because I told you guys, I think I already told you she's an artist. Of course you knew that. Um, but she hasn't had any good, you know, so that's another prayer request. Did I mention to you guys that my daughter is Yes, I did mention it about her working and the job she's applied for three different positions. So, never mind, because I know I already mentioned that. All right, so here is this one. Now let's look at our cross and see how it's dried. Ooh, look at that. It's very pretty. Oh, it's very too much clothes. There we go. But you can definitely see it now. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I hope you guys like these and that you'll try them out. And there's the back. So they can totally write on that. Um, you know, it's it's tough enough to write on tea, tea bag paper. But isn't that sweet? Look at my hands. I look horrible. You guys are wonderful. You love me anyway. <laughs> so there's that one. Now I've got to pick. We have to pick um, what we're going to put on this one. Okay, so let's see. Um, I love the little stitches around there. It's so cute. Oh, you know what I do have? I have this one. This is really pretty. It's my new one, the blush colored velvet. I think that would look really nice with her, huh? Yep, I do believe so. That's the one. I think that's the one, you guys. So I'm just going to cut a piece. Went a little crooked on that. And then I love to shred the tip of it so that it gets the stringy look. I know this one's still wet and I shouldn't be handling it, but I don't want to keep you guys forever and ever and ever. So, yeah. So there's that. And I'll just sit that there. And that's why I wasn't worried about the top with the stitching thing, because I knew I was going to glue that down on there. Oh, look at the butterfly. It looks really pretty cute. Look at that. You can see the colors now that it's drawing. And you can totally see her face. And this isn't even completely dry, of course. We just did it. So you can see how nice that's going to look. Hope you like it. 
Hope you try it. And if you do, please post in our Facebook group. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, please feel free to join us. Um, the more the merrier. And it is Creatives Inspired Corner, affiliated with Tara's Take on Facebook. And I have a link in the video. And there's also a link in the About section of the channel. Okay? You can also find me in Etsy under Tara's Take and Instagram at Tara's Take. Okay? Oh, and I'm having, just so you guys know, I am having a 30% off sale through... Oh no, I'm so sorry. This is I'm I'm getting confused because this video is for next week. I need to just announce it on Facebook because <laughs> it'll be over by the time <laughs> I was ha I had a sale last week, and I keep forgetting because I'm still in the week of the sale that <laughs> you guys aren't here with me. We're in the I'm in the past right now. Anyways, I apologize. I think I did that yesterday too. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys understand being forgetful, right? We're all. We're all around the same age. We can blame it on our age. All right, you guys. I hope you love these as much as I did. I really like these. I can't wait to put them in my journals. And um, I can't wait to see if my girls try them out. So there we go. Let's see the back of this one. Yeah, this one's nice and stained. See, this one is too. Got the nice stains on the back. I think it looks so cool. So rustic and just pretty at torn up. I think this could be my shabby chic for the week, for last week's challenge, of course. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love you. God bless you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.